Welcome everyone to Train Tuesday. I am your host, Jim Wigan with Atherin, and so glad you found us. If you like the content that Atherin delivers to you on a weekly basis, please do us a favor. Go ahead and like, comment on the video. I try to reply to all of those comments and subscribe. And once you subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you're notified every time a new video like this drops into your feed. Well, if you're an HO scale modeler, I have something for you on this video. If you're an N-scale guy, likewise, I have something for you. If you model anywhere between the late 1970s all the way into present day, I've got something for you. That's right, we're gonna be talking about boxcars, but not just any type of boxcar, and we've also got some exciting new announcements on the HO scale side. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with some model train goodness. We're gonna start with the Atherin HO Scale 50 foot FMC 5277 combo door boxcar. Now the one that's pictured on your screen, that's not representative of what we're gonna be talking about because there have been some important updates and we'll talk about that in a moment. But I wanted to put that up on the screen so if you're not familiar with our product line, you kind of have an idea of what we're having. Now let's talk about the FMC 5277 boxcar and the era in which it came from. It was the mid-1970s, and the incentive per diem boxcar boom was just beginning. New, brightly painted boxcars seemed to appear virtually overnight. Many were lettered for various short lines. Now, FMC Food Machinery Corporation was a significant builder of many of these cars. The 50-foot outside post, non-terminating, and boxcar became the foundation for new per diem cars built in the 1970s. The 50-foot FMC cars also carried a variety of door configurations and styles to better suit each customer. Now, these cars can still be seen in revenue service today. Now, the one that you see on your screen, this is FMC combo uh, door box car, and it's lettered for the MD and W, and it's actually in stock. So if you like this car, car number 10002, you can actually order this through your local hobby shop or your online retailer of your choice. The item number for this particular car is ATH26742. Again, that's ATH26742. Now let's talk about the cars that we're offering for our new announcement for the month of June. So Railbox is incredibly popular. So not only on the prototype, but in the modeling world as well. And so we wanted to offer you some variations of the Railbox theme. We're gonna start with the early Railbox at the top of our screen. That is 1979 era all the way through the 1980s. So if you're a 1980s modeler, you owe it to yourself to have at least one of these on your layout. The reporting marks for Railbox is ABOX. The road number that you see on your screen here is 50404. Where additionally, we're going to offer two other road numbers in the same paint scheme, 50549 and 50620. Looking at the middle of our screen, we've got the later version of Railbox. This is a 1990s era boxcar, and same reporting marks, but the road number is 51023. Additionally, two other boxcars are going to be offered as well. They are 51080 and 51131. Then this next one, the one on the bottom of your screen, it may look like a Railbox car at first glance, but careful, take a look. You'll see this is a former Railbox, now Canadian National, as it appeared in the 1980s. Their reporting marks are CNA, and the car number here is 553754. Two other road numbers in a similar scheme to this will be offered, 553759 and 553762. We're not done with Canadian National, though. Now we're going to jump into the 1990s. Here we have the 1990s era Canadian National in this paint scheme. We're offering it in three different road numbers. The one that you see on your screen is 553704. And additionally, the two other boxcars offered in this paint scheme will be 553732 and 553768. Coming up next is a trigger warning for you guys but it's a legendary liveries. 
Had TTX done something like this in 2006, our product developers think this is probably what it would have looked like. It does not exist in the real world, but it had, if it had, it would have been about 2006 era. Now, we know this is one of those product lines that has a either love or hate relationship with you modelers. However, that being said, we keep making these and people keep buying them. And the good news is, is when folks buy these um, and they sell out, it allows us to do other prototypical things. You'll notice we just have one legendary liveries in this lineup of boxcars. All the others are based on prototype. So for those that wanna have an imaginary boxcar on their layout or module, we offer three different road numbers of the striking TTX legendary liveries boxcar. Same reporting marks, ABOX, car that you see on your screen here is 553704, and additionally two other cars are offered, 553732 and 553768. And then finally, we have the Minnesota, Dakota, and Western. This is a 1990s era car. This is a car that was highly requested. The car that you see on your screen has the reporting marks MDW, and the car number is 13009. Additionally, two other cars in this paint scheme will be offered, 13054 and 13081. Now let's talk about the features and some of the exciting things that we've been doing here at Atherin to update these models. Going back to my in-stock version, we're just using that as a guide so you can see what it is, but there's been some important changes. There's now gonna be two different class bodies of the 5277. These are based on Railbox prototypes. Railbox prototypes starting with the 50400 to 50999, the earlier class, and then the later class, 51000 to 52449. So two cl different class bodies are gonna be offered so you'll see a difference not only in the paintwork of the Railbox cars, but in how they are put together. Now, some of the details that these models are gonna include, separately applied wire grab irons, etched end platforms, the McHenry operating scale knuckle couplers, of course, are body mounted. They have machine metal wheels with RP25 contours. That basically means they're gonna operate on all manufacturers track and they're weighted for optimum performance. Of course, they're accurately painted and printed for prototypical realism. That is everything other than the legendary liveries TTX. However, all those other ones are based on a prototype. They are highly detailed, and they've got a really nice injection molded body. They've been updated throughout the years, and they are fully assembled, ready for you to use, unless you want to do some weathering on them, depending on what era that you model. Minimum radius on these boxcars is 18 inches, which means from the smallest shelf layout all the way to the largest HO scale layout, you'll have no issues with these boxcars navigating your track. Now, end scale guys, hang on. I didn't forget you. We do have some end scale versions for you as well. So, same history, same boxcar even same roads and for the most part, same road numbers. We're gonna be offering two different road numbers for each road that we've got announced here in this run. The one that you see on your screen is an FMC combo door boxcar for the Burlington Northern. Its car number is 316221 and this too is in stock. So if you really like the cascade green look of this car and you wanna add it to your roster, well, you can get this from your local hobby shop or your favorite online retailer. If they don't have it, they can certainly contact Atherin and we can deliver it to them. The item number on this car is ATH24593. Again, the item number on this car is ATH24593. Now let's talk about the roads that we're carrying for this announcement. So like the HO scale guys, we're gonna give you Railbox because really it doesn't matter what scale you model. If you're modeling the 1970s to the 1990s, Railbox is gonna be a part of that. So what we have here is the early 1979 era Railbox. We're gonna offer two different road numbers for this and end scale. The one that you see on your screen, 50404, as well as 50549. Guys that are modeling the 1990s and really end scale lends itself well to modern railroading. 
you're going to want to pick up these cars, both road numbers. This is the later row box as it appeared in the 1990s. The car that you see on your screen is 51023, and we're also going to offer 51080. 1980s aero end scale modelers, you're going to want to pick up the Canadian National former rail box. We're going to be doing two road numbers in this paint scheme. The one that you see on your screen is car number 553754. And the one that you don't see but will be available is 553759. Likewise, we're going to offer some more Canadian National for our N-Scale modelers. We've got the Canadian National in its corporate colors. This is a 1990s era paint scheme. Their reporting marks are CNA, and the car that you see on your screen is 553704. Additionally, car number 553732 will also be offered. And Legendary Liveries isn't just an HO scale thing. It's an N-Scale thing, too. If you're a fan of the legendary liveries, take note, you can pick up the TTX version as it would appear in an alternate universe in 2006. It still has the same reporting marks as Railbox, ABOX. The car that you see on your screen is 52457. Additionally, we'll offer the same paint scheme with the road number 52463. And then finally, we have the Minnesota, Dakota, and Western in the 1990s era paint scheme. Their reporting marks are MDW, and the road number on this car is 13009. Additionally, we will offer 13054. <clears throat> now let's talk about the features of the N-Scale cars. Going back to our Burlington Northern version that is available now, there have been some subtle changes. <clears throat> One of the things that we were kind of getting feedback on was our our brake wheel, a little chunky, kind of something that need to be updated. So our product developers have worked on that. It's a much more finer scale profile brake wheel. The other thing that you're gonna see on these cars is they're gonna have roller bearing trucks. And another thing that I really like about our end scale cars, they have screw mounted trucks. Other manufacturers use a plastic pin to hold the truck bolster to the frame. Ours are actually screw mounted. What that means is you can actually adjust these um, for better roll quality and fine tuning on different layouts, different modules, much like the HO scale guys do. These will have machine metal wheels, and I can tell you they will operate on everything from code 80 to code 55, even code 40. I can personally say I've run these on code 40 without any issues. They're weighted for maximum performance, and of course, McHenry knuckle couplers are included, and they're body mounted. So much easier to switch with. A lot of N-Scale guys now are doing a lot more operations than we did 10, 15, 25 years ago. Another nice thing about these cars is they come with a clear plastic jewel case. Now that's convenient for storage, or if you're like me and you're part of the modular group, it's a great way to get your equipment to the show without having to worry about damaging it. Of course, they're fully assembled. They're ready to go out of the box. Weathering is up to you. And these are accurately painted and printed just like their HO scale counterparts, with the exception of the TTX legendary liveries. Now, operating wise, minimum radius on these is nine and three quarters. That means from the smallest T track module all the way to N track and Fremo N or a home layout or a club layout. If you're lucky enough to have an N scale club layout, these will operate just fine. So that's what I've got for you for the month of June. Hard to believe that we're going to be looking at July here in just a few days. Don't forget, you're going to want to talk to your dealer by June 28th. That's a Friday to make your pre-orders on these. And while you're at it, if one of those cars is in stock while you're doing the pre-orders, go ahead and add those to your fleet as well. Well, that's all I've got for you for this program of Train Tuesday. I hope the information that I gave you was valuable, and I hope to see you maybe this summer at one of the train shows or just out and about doing some rail fanning. Until the next time, everyone out there, be happy, be healthy, be safe, do some good modeling, and above all, high greens. Take care, everyone.